um hey hello everyone so i in our last class uh, i think you got a uh, outline of what is sap and uh, what are the roles in sap how uh, how how the how how functional and technical roles what they are doing and the flow chart of sap back end architecture and what technologies used in your fi and fury both and overall so i have said what are the difference between bas and web id in the before class and uh, now we are going to try how to create a trial account and how can how we can access business application studio so we need to go into sp btp cockpit and under services we can see business application studio then clicking dev space we can select the sap fury and one it once it's creator we can create our business application studio so these are the four steps we are going to follow and uh, now i'll navigate into uh, the sap btp screen and i will guide you how to access the btp so first uh, as a simple thing so we are going to uh, get into uh, your chrome you can just uh, search sap btp cockpit okay okay better uh, after searching that you'll get a, a cloud like uh, icon uh, sap btp cockpit which is a business technology platform that helps you to build extend and integrate application okay it's a big tool for developers everything when you where you need to create and customize application okay so this is this is this is, will be the first page so i have my application studio you can see i have logged in it if you don't have you'll be getting into this like of a screen so you need to click on the sign in after sign in if i give sign in i'll uh, automatically take into my page if not i'll get into other chrome page so that you can understand easily so uh, this will be the uh, like the in this i don't have any logons so after searching into chrome you'll be uh, integrated into like this if i also have sap universal id better create one id with one email id so if you give get sap universal id you will direct it to give some basic knowledge basic details of your email address your uh, name everything so after giving those okay uh the needed tabs to be filled okay here it will be loaded after giving those details you'll get the confirmation email okay you're getting getting like no first name last name everything you can give submit and after getting them you'll get an email after confirming your sub account your btp trial account will be ready okay just the simple steps you need to create create a universal id okay we can we can we can uh yeah uh, we can get ready with our document so that uh, that will be helpful for us okay so okay i will um, so uh, to access search sap btp cockpit over google you need to sign in okay sign in is done after is the sign in page will be like this okay or uh, universal id sap universal id should be created okay after sap universal id you'll get a page like this okay with that uh you can sign in here after getting that you'll get the page like this so this uh, it this will be the first point so you can see welcome to sap btp trial so what will be that sap btp trial okay getting so after that so you should need to go to trial account okay fine this will happen every time when you give your universal id and here so i have some sort of trial account okay but if you don't have okay if you don't have uh you will be you can get into here and give a sub account and your name okay let us create fury tutorials okay one okay so you need to just select the region any region it's not specific so the subdomain it will automatically will be created so let let you know what is subdomain okay it's a part of url to access your application okay this will be the url when you expose your application into api okay if you can just give create after giving create you could see your creation pending right you could see here i think you could few tutorials one our creation is pending from a uh, pending it's onboarding 
within some time it will take two to three minutes after that it will automatically be created okay so once it is created i'll i'll, I'll show you without a much delay because it will take some time without much delay i'll give i'll give you what i have so i'll get into my own account this is my trial sub account okay so within this if i you, you can see the basic details over here this tenant subdomain or the subdomain i have said the url tenant id a separate id for that it's a broken ready separate ID for you subdomain. so this will be this okay so uh, we we are focusing on business application studio right so what we have seen the steps after uh btp corporate get into navigator service right service so where we can see where you can see service and the server marketplace so in a document you can give after btp trial account create a trial account okay we can uh, we can uh, say simply create our trial account um, with the name any name so our name is fury what we have created is fury tutorial underscore one so okay you can create whatever you need okay then um, if you give give go and a service marketplace that will be a number of and services available you could see business entity and data recommendation and many things if you need exactly ones you can so i'm going to search business application studio okay so business application studio so you can simply see here it is just click on it and for me at it as it i have i have already created this is not enabled for you it will be like this blue color so what you are going to do you, you are going to just click so what i'm going to do i'm going to just go to application and so what what are the steps to be okay fury tutorials once under the service okay under the service marketplace search for a business search for business application studio then create okay okay fine creating okay after giving create you will get into our development space okay so what it is what if if you have a time you, you can just go through the other other services available under the service marketplace you can see graph uh you can see dbs okay you can see many number of dbs see see they have partitioned ai what you are using application development you can see mobile services okay okay and see data analytics for for postgres sql red is sap these are the database and what else they are provided okay so here okay okay this is i just did. from okay you in your page no? in your page this will be blank okay i have set this one so how to so so you'll be given this so we'll just create dev space on that name we are we can create fury and disco tutorial one okay getting okay this there are n numbers of different types of application sap fury full stack and a uh, full stack cloud application hana native application mobile application what else if you need to create a mobile application you can give this or uh, entirely hana native based application you can give this so for a cap application we can give this we'll see in uh in the upcoming class so now for a basic uh affair application we are going to give sap fury. and you can also see here there will be predefined extension and additional extension so many many add-ons here in this btp that is the plus of this btp okay and this btp also has some key parts like a uh, name you can uh, just uh keep in mind the terminologies like cow foundry integrations should extensions should like that these are basic terminologies we'll let's see while we are integrated after creating our application we'll integrate it with some backends no at that time we can see so just give create dev space okay after giving create your uh development space is loading you can see right see right start start so uh, another one thing see you're allowed to or you're all allowed or total only two dev space but at that time only one will be running right only you can, you're allowed to run one and if you pay on and if you had much more subscription okay at that time you can run uh, you you are allowed to create much more development space and i think only one one development uh dev area will be run. so this dev area after this dev area is running we will be directly directed to our working environment where we can see how can we create our applications okay so we'll 
okay after bash after create after bash just create after creating that uh, you can create dev spaces okay after creating dev space you can give the name and type of application there okay and just create okay what you'll get your dev space is started and soon it will become under run menu okay so see see you can see running right right so if you go in, into it uh there will be the working environment which is business applications so you can see right okay this oh there is, yeah okay fine it will be loading um there will be files that will be the environment where we are going to work where we are going to explore much more things so this is the uh part how we should uh, access business application studio okay so uh, as of now in this video i'll only cover how to access the business application studio in the next upcoming video uh, we will uh, explore what are the fields in application studio and then i'll get into some theory architecture some kind of theoretical part and this will take you some time because this is the first time we are creating dev uh, development space for a uh, fury application so during first time you'll get some time to occur uh, because it's a pre-built no it will have some day dbs everything's around so it will take some time so uh in next class we'll start with a new business application studio we'll create applications we'll uh see say mvc architecture everything so i think you have you have got a clear uh flow of how to create business application studio uh, if you have any doubt, you can uh, see your power of just a simple flow. Um, yes. Okay. I think you got it. In next class, we'll explore business applications to you. Thank you. Hope you understand. Good day.